Welcome back to another video on Gearsoft Studios, and today I'm going to show you how to build a snowman for the fourth day of Gearsaw. A relatively simple and short video, but remember, please like and subscribe, and without further ado, onto the tutorial. So, we're going to be using three main blocks. Snow, red concrete, and black concrete. The two concretes are going to be used for the top hat. And, of course, the snow is for the snowman. Then, we have our buttons here. And, we need a nice flat area to start off with. I've linked a sphere generator in the description, so that way building the snowman's much easier. So, in order to start our snowman, we instantly need to start building a 20 block sphere. Which will cost about 16 stacks of snow. And... You can of course use the calculator in the description, but you need to choose a value that is even because we need to place buttons on this and if it's not even, then we can't really make the best buttons or at least they will not be Minecraft realistic. So build your 20 block sphere and you'll have the first part done. With our giant snowball, we want to do the exact same thing, but make it 16 blocks. So yeah, we're just going to do that. And the next one can be 12 blocks, but I just wait until the next clip to make sure. With our second snowball on top, now we need to just add another one. 12 blocks seems good, but it's all down to your personal opinion. But there is one thing though, the part where they connect. So if you just stack them on top of each other, you could remedy it just by adding a scarf, using alternating red and lime concrete. Or you could add a belt or just something. Or, if you haven't built it yet, you could connect them like this, use the same base. Or you could just remove the top and bottom of them all together and merge them. So that way your snowman's a little bit shorter, but better looking. So there's a variety of solutions to this. But I recommend just having them pressed together, no tops or bottoms. And if you've already built it, then I recommend going the scarf route. So, we have our three snowballs stacked. And what you want to do is go onto the front and remove the curvature. Make it a flat face. It's just easier to build on if you're choosing to not make one by one eyes. And I'm going to be using one by one eyes, kind of like this. But you can still have the snow protrusion on it. It's completely up to you whether you want it. So, you know, just think about it. But now what we want to do is add buttons. So, in order to make a button, you want one black concrete, two gray concrete on either side, and then a light gray concrete in the top left. And you want at least two, but I heavily recommend more. So, add them wherever you can. You can even make them tilt a little like this. And it's up to you if you want to have that. But I think it looks pretty good. So, add a couple of tilted ones. And you'll have a, just a better looking snowman. We have some buttons, some eyes, where I have buttons, but I replaced the light gray with white. And a carrot nose. The carrot nose is nothing special. Made with orange terracotta, it's just a blob that points outward. Nothing too remarkable. But, we want to have a top hat on here. And you can either use black concrete, or you can go with gray concrete. And I actually do prefer the gray concrete, so I'm going to use that. What you want to do is have two blocks going out on each side. So, kind of the circle shape that you have going around. And, once you have that done... Then, you want to have red concrete on the first snow block you see right here. And then go up approximately 8 blocks and round it out. Well, not round it, but flatten it out at the top. We have a nice dapper snowman. And, well, he's only missing one thing. Arms. And also, one thing else. 
a good base. At the bottom, you should round out the base a little, so that way it's not just oddly bouncing. So, by going maybe two or three blocks up, and then just rounding it out like another sphere is under there, you can solve that problem quite easily. But, essentially, we want to be using lanterns to light up the interior, which is actually just completely unrelated, and have these little flimsy sticks going out. So, maybe three blocks down, then another three blocks, and you can make them a little bit thicker, but this is the general concept. Once they go down to a certain point, then you want to replace some of the blocks with stairs, and of course this is only a rough design, and you have to do both sides, but you will get some arms. So finishing this up real quick, then we can see, well, it's very flimsy, but it's a basic arm design. Make it a little bit longer or a little bit thicker, place it on both sides, and now you got a finished snowman. We have a completed snowman, albeit his arms are basically exactly the same, except he has rounded edges, which I consider a massive change. Well, we just have a snowman. He's looking pretty dapper with that top hat and some buttons. And he works really good as a landmark, especially if you aren't very good at building trees like me. Then, of course, I'd recommend going with a snowman as your second choice. And with that, it's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, remember, please like and subscribe, it really helps me out. So, take care, enjoy your new dapper snowman, Gearsaw, 